Wrong Ones Part Ways, Right Ones Find Their Way. The title of the article I'm sharing with you today is called Don't Understand My Suffering, Don't Advise Maine to Be Magnanimous. In one sentence, it encapsulates a woman's lifetime of experiences. Let's listen together. Guo Degang has a famous saying when someone advises you to be magnanimous in any situation, stay away from them, there are always some people who like to see themselves as kind-hearted, presumptuously judging issues from their own perspective without understanding, yet rashly passing judgment. They won't consider your perspective, only their own, incessantly advising you to be magnanimous. In their eyes, the suffering you endure, your past helplessness, and your brink of collapse are all insignificant, trivial matters. They lack first-hand experience of your pain and haven't undergone your grievances. As someone once said, in this world there is actually no such thing as truly empathizing with someone's pain. Until the needle pricks them, they won't know how painful it is. The reality is heavy and cruel, filled with many twists and turns. Not everything is as simple as imagined, nor can every difficulty be easily brushed aside with a smile. Empathy and understanding should be reciprocal. If one hasn't experienced the same suffering as the other, they shouldn't presume to judge, nor should they indiscriminately advise others to be magnanimous. Forgiveness, or lack thereof, is a personal choice. Whether as a friend or bystander, silent listening is often the best consolation. During my childhood, I had a dark experience that I never shared with anyone, including my parents. When I was in elementary school, my best friend betrayed me in front of the entire class, falsely accusing me and causing everyone to isolate me. The reason was simply because he liked my desk mate and I had a good relationship with him. During that time of being ostracized, my former lively and cheerful self disappeared, replaced by introversion and sensitivity. Gradually, I began to isolate myself, as my busy parents couldn't attend to me. Often I would cry alone in the bathroom, or stay awake all night in despair. Perhaps as an adult, it's difficult to imagine the young me enduring each day with fear and hopelessness. Thanks for listening so far. This channel is for everyone to improve better daily. If any of the words or sentences are helpful, then both my team and I will be very happy. Subscribing and following will help keep us moving forward. Let's get back to sharing. The small heart of a child collapsed. The world collapsed. All I felt was indifference, as if life held no hope. Nobody would help me. For a long time I couldn't escape from the shadows. I felt inferior, afraid of facing crowds, afraid of interacting with people. Later, that girl added me on social media and said the childhood incident was just a joke, apologizing to me. But I didn't say it was okay because her words had influenced the first half of my life. Not every apology can be met with forgiveness, nor can every mistake be easily forgiven. Some things, no matter how much compensation is made, the harm remains. The wounds, the blood, and the tears cannot be erased by a simple apology. Sorry, it's not enough to erase the pain, not every mistake, not every hurt can be easily forgiven. It's not about magnanimity or kindness, some things are beyond repair. The hurt, the blood, and the tears, everything cannot be undone. Lightly brushing over faults and hurts with a simple apology, or imagining that everything can be restored with ease, is far from easy. Perhaps, after the passage of time, when facing the past, we will eventually appear calm and indifferent. But that doesn't mean forgetting the past or forgiving it. Forgiving oneself doesn't mean letting go of the pain or forgiving. It's a kind of reluctant shelving, a gentleness towards oneself. I don't want to sink in pain, nor do I want to make things difficult for myself. Letting go of all the resentment, storing the past in a corner of memory, unwilling to mention it again, unwilling to investigate further, letting everything go with the wind, forgetting the pain, forgetting the sorrow, slowly emerging from the darkness of the past. Although it's difficult, after all, in life, one must look forward. The past doesn't need to be brought up again, let bygones be bygones. It's not forgiveness, it's letting go. Real, true tolerance isn't about forgiving others, it's about letting go of oneself. Remember this saying others are held as self as heaven. 
Heaven and hell are just a thought away. In this world there is a lot of suffering. Some misunderstand you, some hurt you, some betray you, some abandon you, and when you're in the depths of pain, the only one who can save you is yourself. View suffering as growth you don't have to let go, you don't have to forgive, but you must learn to love yourself. The road ahead is long, don't let the darkness of the past block your future light. May every day in the future, both you and I, be treated with tenderness by others. This is where the article ends. Thank you for your attention. If you find the article helpful, please share it. Every like or share from you is our greatest motivation. I hope you have new insights every day. Here you will never be alone.